Hey, welcome back to the channel. So over the past year or so, I've done a bunch of Chrome OS videos. And after all of those videos, people always ask if a particular function will work in Chrome OS or a specific application. And one thing that gets asked a lot, and I'm pretty surprised by this, is game development. People want to know if you can do game development on a Chromebook. Now, the knee-jerk reaction is to say, no, they're not powerful enough, you can't do it. But that is not the case. Using the Godot game engine and the built-in Linux support in Chrome OS, you actually can do 2D and 3D game development. And today I'm gonna to show you how to get that all set up on your Chromebook. If you don't know what the Godot game engine is, it is a software suite that lets you create 2D games, 3D games, isometric games, all kinds of different games. They have it on uh, multiple platforms, including Linux, which is how we're gonna do this today. And it's very similar to Unity or Unreal Engine, except with the Godot, it's 100% free and open source and you never have to pay any licensing. Now, I have only tried this on Intel-based Chromebooks. I've not tried it on ARM-based. So if you try this out and it works on your ARM-based Chromebook, please leave a comment down in the comment section below so we know that's working. In order for this to work, you're gonna have to turn on Linux beta support, and you're also gonna have to go into the Chrome OS flags and turn on the GPU acceleration. If you're not sure how to do that, I'll have a link to a video right up here that I did that walks you through all those steps. Go do that and then come back here and let's jump right into this tutorial. All right, so here we are on our Chromebook. And again, I'm gonna assume that you have the Linux beta support turned on and you also have the GPU acceleration turned on at this point. And the rest of this is actually very, very easy. So what we're gonna do is just open up our browser and search for Godot, G-O-D-O-T. Then we just want to select the download area here and we have to be careful because Godot is available for various operating systems and because we're using the Linux support in Chrome, we need to use the Linux version of Godot. So we're going to click on Linux here. Now there is two versions, well, there's technically four versions, but there's two main versions and each of those versions has a 64-bit and a 32-bit version of the application, depends on your processor. Now the difference between the standard and the mono version is that mono will allow you to use the mono libraries to code in C Sharp when you're coding your game. So if you wanna use C-sharp, you can download the mono version. You need to load a few more libraries on your Chromebook, which I'm not gonna go over in this video. Happy to talk about that, do another video on that later if people wanna see that. But for this video, we're just sticking with the standard version that allows you to use the Visual Scripter and also GD Script, which honestly, I recommend doing that if you're just getting started in gaming anyway. It's a little bit easier to kinda of wrap your head around than C-sharp is. So we're gonna go ahead and download the 64-bit version of the standard version of Godot. It's a super fast download, it's done already. So then what we're gonna do is just open up our files app, go out to downloads, and we have the zip. We just wanna open it with the zip archiver. So that's gonna mount that as if it were like an external drive or something. And then all we need to do is just drag this right over to our Linux files area. The reason why we need to do that is we're using this in Linux beta and we only have access to files that are in that Linux files area when we're using Linux on our uh, Chromebook here. So once we do that, we can just open up the terminal, the Linux terminal. And if we do an LS, we can see that it's in there. Now, the way it is right now, we can't launch this or anything because it doesn't know it's an executable. So we have to make it an executable. And we just do that by doing a sudo chmod777 and then just start typing Godot and then hit tab and it'll auto complete that name, hit enter. And honestly, that's it. Now, when we wanna run this, we just hit dot slash Godot, and it launches right up. This is our first launch, so it's asking us if we wanna load a uh, asset library, which we can do just to show you, we'll download a game here, just to show you that it's it's kind of functioning, and let's see what we got here. Let's just get this uh, 2D platformer. So what this is, is this is kind of a repository for sample uh, applications, sample games, and and 
different uh, tech demos that you can download and look at the code to learn how to do it. There's also a ton of tutorials on this as well. So when you select one, you just hit download. It'll do a quick download here and then we'll be able to install it. All right, so that's that's downloaded. So let's click the install. Uh, it's asking us to create a folder. I'm just gonna do that, that's fine. And now we launch into the editor. Now this is the full Godot editor. You have access to all your scenes and nodes and uh, scripting and everything that you would normally have on any other workstation. And it actually works really well if we go ahead and launch this game. We can see it functions just like a, I don't know how to play it, but <laughs> just like a, uh, a platformer. We can go full screen if we want. Now again, this is just a little sample project, but you can use this to modify the scripts and create your, your own games on a Chromebook with an absolutely free game engine. Now you can do 3D games as well. This is just a 2D, but you can switch to a 3D view and you know navigate around in here. It actually works very well. You can get to all your scripting and modify your scripts that are associated with your game. And it's a, a great game engine and actually works very, very well, assuming you have a powerful enough Chromebook. If you want to know the specs of the one that I'm using, I'll have a link down in the description with also a link to go ahead and purchase it if you want. I can definitely recommend this is the Dell Inspiron Chromebook 14. I absolutely love this thing. So let me know if you have any questions or comments, if you want to see anything else, if you want me to go more in depth into anything I did here or install that mono version, let me know that as well. I'm always open to new suggestions on videos to tackle. Thanks so much for stopping by and I will see you in the next video.